Your purpose in life is to find your purpose and give your whole heart and soul to it. Health is the greatest gift, contentment the greatest wealth, faithfulness the best relationship. What we think, we become. Be vigilant, guard your mind against negative thoughts. To be angry is to let others' mistakes punish yourself. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. Those who consider the unessential to be essential and see the essential as unessential don't reach the essential, living in the field of wrong intention. Thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. The secret of health for both mind and body is not to mourn for the past, nor to worry about the future, but to live in the present moment wisely and earnestly. To keep the body in good health is a duty, otherwise we should not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. Let us rise up and be thankful, for if we didn't learn a lot, at least we learned a little. And if we didn't learn a little, at least we didn't get sick. And if we got sick, at least we didn't die. So let us all be thankful. Our theories of the eternal are as valuable as are those that a chick which has not broken its way through its shell might form of the outside world. Generosity brings happiness at every stage of its expression. We experience joy in forming the intention to be generous. We experience joy in the actual act of giving something. And we experience joy in remembering the fact that we have given. Those who attempt to conquer hatred by hatred are like warriors who take weapons to overcome others who bear arms. This does not end hatred, but gives it room to grow. But ancient wisdom has advocated a different timeless strategy to overcome hatred. This eternal wisdom is to meet hatred with non-hatred. The method of trying to conquer hatred through hatred never succeeds in overcoming hatred. But the method of overcoming hatred through non-hatred is eternally effective. That is why that method is described as eternal wisdom. There are only two mistakes one can make along the road of truth. Not going all the way and not starting. Better than a thousand hollow words is one word that brings peace. To live a pure, unselfish life, one must count nothing as one's own in the midst of abundance. When you like a flower, you just pluck it. But when you love a flower, you water it daily. All the wrongdoing arises because of mind. If the mind is transformed, can wrongdoing remain? Just as treasures are uncovered from the earth, so virtue appears from good deeds, and wisdom appears from a pure and peaceful mind. To walk safely through the maze of human life, one needs the light of a wisdom and the guidance of virtue. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back, and choose the path that leads to wisdom. Inward calm cannot be maintained unless physical strength is constantly and intelligently replenished. What we are today comes from our thoughts of yesterday, and our present thoughts build our life of tomorrow. Our life is the creation of our mind. Neither fire nor wind, birth nor death can erase our good deeds. The foot feels the foot when it feels the ground. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. There is nothing more dreadful than the habit of doubt. Doubt separates people. It is a poison that disintegrates friendships and breaks up pleasant relations. It is a thorn that irritates and hurts. It is a sword that kills. To conquer oneself is a greater task than conquering others. 
Anger will never disappear so long as thoughts of resentment are cherished in the mind. Anger will disappear just as soon as thoughts of resentment are forgotten. Believe nothing, merely because you have been told it. Do not believe what your teacher tells you merely out of respect for the teacher, but whatsoever. After due examination and analysis, you find to be kind, conducive to the good, the benefit, the welfare of all beings that doctrine believe and cling to, and take it as your guide. Each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. If we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life would change. In the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. Happiness comes when your work and words are of benefit to yourself and others. What you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. If you are quiet enough, you will hear the flow of the universe, you will feel its rhythm. Go with this flow. Happiness lies ahead. Meditation is key. Purity or impurity depends on oneself. No one can purify another. There is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. Meditate. Live purely. Be quiet. Do your work with mastery. Like the moon, come out from behind the clouds. Shine. Should you find a wise critic to point out your faults, follow him as you would a guide to hidden treasure. There are two mistakes one can make along the road to truth not going all the way and not starting. Three things can be long hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. Be a lamp for yourselves, be your own refuge, seek for no other, all things must pass, strive on diligently, don't give up. As an elephant in the battlefield withstands arrows shot from bows all around, even so shall I endure abuse. The calm say that what is well spoken is best. Second, that one should say what is right, not unrighteous. Third, what's pleasing, not displeasing. Fourth, what is true, not false. In separateness lies the world's greatest misery. In compassion lies the world's true strength. Those who have failed to work toward the truth have missed the purpose of living. Do not overrate what you have received, nor envy others. He who envies others does not obtain peace of mind. Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind, they can change our world. Resolutely train yourself to attain peace.